Welcome to the flowerschool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I'm here to talk to you about the formal linear style of design. Commonly it's referred to as high style, but technically formal linear. The key is the focus is on the lines of the arrangement, the accent area, and then ample use of negative space. It's a fabulous dramatic design. The materials for this arrangement should be dramatic, interesting. Of course, line material is helpful, like the quince, maybe lily grass, foliages, and then interesting shaped flowers, like the anthurium here in their beautiful pink and rosy blush. But you can also use standard flowers, like a carnation or a rose. Container, height is always wonderful. It adds a little bit of drama. And if you don't want height, then think sculptural, something dramatic and textural. When you use it, make sure your foam is elevated a bit because you're going to need to have side insertions to get the drama. To begin, establish your main line. For me, it's going to be the anthurium coming out in a horizontal fashion, giving it a cut and then placing it strongly into the foam, bringing in another, cutting it down, and it too comes strongly into the foam, maybe a little bit shorter, to carry the eye out to the side and begin the asymmetrical movement. For my secondary line, I'm going to use the quince and let the eye come upward a bit and accent the asymmetrical style. Now I want to prune this down, looking at the branches, how does it fit, and this particular piece goes the wrong direction. So pruning it out, saving it. I may be able to use it for something else. And then thinking, how tall do I want it to be? Don't need this. And then cutting it down. Now quince will drink a little better if I shave a bit of the bark off the side. Then placing it down into the foam, angling lightly, creating that vertical movement upward. Once your lines are established, then it's the easy part. You want to fill in the accent area. You can bring in more lines, giving it a little bit more movement, bringing the quince downward. Bring in another anthurium to bring the pink into the center, this time cutting it very short and nestling it right into the center. And then maybe a single succulent on a wood pick so that it'll anchor in nicely. And then lastly, foliages to cover the foam and the mechanics. To enhance the accent area and visually anchor the quince and the anthurium, a single vibrant pink carnation tucked down low towards the back. And it just adds visual weight and drama, a little more color linking the two pieces together. And then, to break the line of the container and add movement and rhythm in the front, a few blades of lily grass, cut short and then tucked right in. The formal linear style of design is one to go to if you're looking to impress. People always go, oh wow, and it shows a mastery and understanding of the elements and principles of design. If you're considering testing for AIFD, you'll want to study Formal Linear. It's the easiest to evaluate and it will ensure that you can pass. Now for more studies, you can find it on our website, flowerschool.com. If you need information, guidance, help as you study the Formal Linear, reach out to us. You can reach us by telephone at 503-223-8089. And you can also reach me by my personal email. It's Leanne, L-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, at floraldesigninstitute.com. Now it's your turn. Have fun and do something you love.